we are halfway through the season one of nba 2k 23 my team so here's exactly where you should be on your xp let me know your level down in the comment section below now we can look obviously at scotty pippen and see that i'm a little bit behind what i should be if you are somebody um who wants to just know an exact xp amount you should probably be in the range of like seventy five thousand xp obviously the exact halfway mark which is going to be somewhere between 33 and level 34 uh but it, there's a little bit more into it i would say honestly there's so much xp that is currently in the game and so much xp that is still to come i mean we still have 18 to 19 days left it says 18 days left but it's like 18 days 20 something hours you'll be perfectly fine you could realistically start my team today and still finish you could just get your onyx Giannis onto the kumbo the free agent card and finish the game perfectly fine right now get that level 40 and just have some fun but there's generally some strategies that you're going to want to implement and some things that you're going to want to do in order to just make this go a little bit smoother and make it a little bit faster or just have a general strategy so well, that's what we're talking about today so with the season agendas um there's some pretty cool things you can do first off this my team win streaks thing uh make sure you get this especially this weirdly glitched evo <laughs> of the elite franchise moment i just think that's funny uh because these are some very rare cards that you're going to need to use for the exchange um to get and i think it's definitely going to help a lot of people but the first thing that i always like to talk about is the daily challenges man daily challenges are so important i think for a lot of people this is 450 xp I'll, I'll do it right now type in 450 and we multiply that by the 19 days you can get it you can get today's and then the 18 days that follow 8550 xp just with 450 i mean if that's somebody who just started out with my team you could obviously get up pretty far i think with just daily challenges and not doing anything else which is up to yeah almost level 17 just by doing daily challenges and that's almost enough actually to even jump from level what is it 37 to 38 just daily challenges i mean it's crazy what the daily challenges do for you because it's literally the easiest xp ever i mean look at this apply a shoe five assists with the shooting guard in the game sometimes that just happens because secondary positions also count so if you use a point guard shooting guard that game is super easy win one challenge game and with a method that i'll show you to getting some xp uh, in a second you can get this done today and then uh the next one is when two triple throw offline games i mean it's super simple that's gonna take you 10 minutes boom 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 two games done dust it and then you're on your way so it's pretty cool the next one is going to be this win the weekend win the weekend is one that i think a lot of people kind of forget about they just get their limited ring or forget to get their limited ring like me um, and just don't do these win the weekend challenges um and there's a lot of xp that's actually tied into this you can see there's 2000 right here um and then we have another 2000 for the 500s uh what is it 1500 right there another 500 so about 4000 xp that's in this uh win the weekend section of challenges and you get a pack out of it as well which is kind of cool but these pop up every single weekend now there's this weekend um the current one that's gonna be going on and then there's the one of the 14th so you have two more weekends where there's gonna be about four or five thousand xp that's gonna be available for you to get so that's still another ten thousand and xp that you're going to want to um they pop up every single day every single week on friday for the limited challenges on throughout uh, because obviously you can't play limited throughout the week so there's no point in doing the win the weekend ones um and hence the name win the weekend and you can kind of just cruise through and have a lot of fun with these ones again it's it's super easy if you were to start from day one of my team just do dailies just to win the weekend challenges i'm pretty sure you would get close to forty thousand xp which is almost enough to get you exactly where i am right now at level 29 it's honestly unreal what they can do for you so don't neglect those and while you're doing some of them you can mix them with like the darian williams takeover the sean kemp takeover challenges um in case you want these guys sean kemp is an absolute beast darian williams is a little yeah he's right he's not crazy though uh, but they both are right um this season one volume two is another one that some people may not have seen now this does go up in four days i do think we're gonna get a season one volume three and that's probably the last one that we're gonna see i think this resets on maybe when or the tuesday content maybe no it's wednesday it's resetting that's all that matters either way um now i wouldn't recommend locking in for jalen brown i would ignore that just because you have to lock in a lot of cards for it uh but if you just use some of these uh players i've done these challenges uh down here these bottom three by just playing triple threat offline um and clutch time offline with some of these cards just using them as golds to lower the overall uh but you can have some pretty nice times with them um i would ignore Carl Malone as well because he's super expensive but you can get tony allen to get five steals as relatively easy 23 pointers of mark price uh siakam and d'angelo russell are a little bit expensive but 25 rebounds with siakam and 25 three pointers uh, with D'Angelo Russell can be done 
at the same time that's a free 6000 xp so just don't neglect these i know a lot of people are getting the gold and getting the emerald cards from these from just free packs and you even if you're just getting those you still can get um the two sets of 500 right here the 750 and the 1500 in the bottom four here so don't neglect those they are something that's there and you can have some fun with those the next two are obviously the shades of packs that drop on tuesdays and the t something less because every single one has been what is it timeless or whatever the hell i uh, was one before ageless like, it, it's weird um is timeless packs drop on friday as well so those two uh for the shades of i think we're looking at around 12,000 xp um that's dropping every single time and the timeless packs or the friday content packs are somewhere between 17 to 18,000 xp every single time it would be more but they're not giving us any rubies amethyst emeralds anything like that it's amazing thank you 2k so much for not giving us cheap cards and only expensive ones it's great but there's obviously a lot of xp that's in there now it's going to be significantly less if you ignore like pink diamond a will chamberlain and pink diamond damon lillard and even uh Carmelo anthony to an extent i'm probably looking closer to like maybe 10,000 xp um or maybe 8,000 xp and the shades of if you ignore the pink diamonds you're probably looking closer to maybe like uh, nine to eight thousand xp on both but that's still a lot of xp that a lot of people can get um and just i guess cruise through but the one that i i would say people neglect the most are the week one week two week threes as i've personally neglected them myself there's a good amount of xp in all of these uh so make sure you don't forget about these just using three bulls players and two triple threat online or offline games please do offline um you can get a thousand xp right there get 40 points and 10 of six with a celtics player in the game uh one block and one dunk with a volume two play i mean a lot of these are relatively easy and you can kind of just get a bunch of xp from those it's like three or four thousand each one of these so you might be just sitting on twelve thousand xp and not even knowing it uh, so definitely look at those and get those done and there will be a week uh four one that i think is gonna be coming out pretty soon as well which is definitely definitely awesome uh but the ones that people neglect the most are this nba series one again i've neglected it myself and the uh, season one rewards and spotlight so the nba series one are the cards you get from the token market so you head over to pack market now open uh, go to token market and then uh, i've just been picking up all the cheap cards and then you just go and boom spend your tokens pick up a card just like this and you can add them to your collection this is how you get all of the nba series one cards and we'll just pick up raul neto and add him to our squad boom just like that and what you actually can do is xp challenges using a lot of these cards which is awesome to see if you've been grinding tokens there's xp that is just sitting here that you don't even know about that's going to make it so much easier uh for example if we just scroll down to some of these ones at the bottom if you're able to get 12 nba series 176ers players you can get 2000 xp um and 10 of the trailblazers players which i already have there's a thousand i have all the suns players that's a thousand it, it's crazy but the thing that makes this crazier is some people may see that and go ah i can't win a game of domination or thing like that without them go to challenges go to skill go to basketball fundamentals and play this mid-range scoring one right here if you hit five shots you can read it practice your mid-range scoring make five shots with a player to earn a mid-range scoring pack and when you do that the game ends just ends and you can use a full lineup on it so just throw all of your cards into a lineup that you need play one of these and you only need for one of them 10 cards so you can just throw in steph for example and then just hit five shots with steph and then leave the game it's crazy um, how quickly these can go so don't forget about those and then the other ones are just the um challenges that you unlock for getting these players if you get for his grant for example don't forget that he's got some xp tied to him not only in a challenge but in the spotlight challenges section, there is Steve Kerr, Bill Cartwright, Tony Kuko, Taurus Grant, Scotty Pippen, Scotty Pippen, Career High, and Scotty Pippen Triple Double. That you can finish and get some XP for those challenges as well. So don't forget those. So again, you want to be somewhere around halfway, but you can even start right now, hop on the grind, and get all the way up to 150,000. They drop XP, a bunch of XP, honestly, every single week. And as the season goes on, more XP comes out with every single challenge. The season ends on October 21st, so just keep that in mind. But you even have the time before as long as you're on before 11 a.m eastern you can even do some on the 21st as well so it's just depending on what you want to do so let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below again let me know your xp level like comment subscribe all the wonderful stuff and i will see you in the next video